Do you also want to take Microsoft Power Platform certifications but don't know where to start? You are at the right place because we are going to discuss about Microsoft Power Platform certifications, how you can enhance your skills and build your credibility in business applications and automation. Make sure you watch this video till the end because we are going to break down on all of these Microsoft Power Platform certifications, which one is suitable for you, when you should do it and which is the first one to start with. So we'll talk about everything. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming ahead. So what exactly are these Microsoft Power Platform certifications? These certifications basically help validate your no code or low code tools knowledge as well as helps you understand your custom app creation skills, your data analytics skills as well as your automation skills. They even demonstrate your proficiency in leveraging Power Platform effectively. So Microsoft Power Platform offers seven different certifications. We'll talk about all these seven different certifications in detail. First out of them is Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals, that is PL900. This particular certification helps candidates understand about fundamentals of this Power Platform and its various products. Next is Power Platform App Maker Associate, that is PL100. This certification helps simplify and automate tasks and processes as per Power Platform products without any extensive coding. Next is Power Platform Functional Consultant Associate, that is PL200. This certification will help you show how to extend and customize Microsoft Power Platform products. Next is Power Platform Developer, that is PL400. This particular certification will help you develop and secure Microsoft Power Platform solutions. Next is Microsoft Power Platform Solution Architect that is PL600. Through the certification you will learn to lead implementations and focus on solutions for an organization. Next is Power Automate RP Developer that is PL500. This particular certification will help you create solutions that will help you automate various repetitive and time consuming tasks. Next is Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst that is PL300. Here you will learn to maximize the value of data sets using advanced analytics. Now, as you know about these certifications, which is the first one that you should take? It basically depends upon your current skills as well as current career goals that you want to pursue. But let's say if you, if I would like to suggest you, so the first one is Power Platform Fundamentals, that is PL900. It is basically a basic fundamental level certification that will help you understand more about Power Platform in general. Also, if you are new to the system, it will help you develop your stronger foundation on this particular topic. It helps cover Power Platform's tools, concepts and capabilities. It can be a good start if you're looking out to learn more about Power Platforms by Microsoft. You can also choose to start with Power Platform App Maker Associate that is PL100. This particular certification is helpful for those who wish to build applications using Power Apps. This might be a good fit for you if you have some experience designing apps without extensive coding skills. Next in the line that I would recommend is Power Platform Functional Associate Consultant that is PL200. If you are more inclined towards building solutions as well as implementing those to meet your business demands, this particular certification is for you. It basically focuses upon skills such as Dynamics 365 as well as Power Platform skills which can help you learn more about these business needs. Regardless of the certification that you choose, the major important thing is how to prepare for these certifications. So there are multiple ways in which you can prepare for these particular certifications. First is study resources. You can use Microsoft's official guides, learning paths as well as understand from the practice papers on how to exactly attempt the exam and how to study. Second is hands-on experience. It is not about reading but it is more about learning and building on those power platform tools so you need to go ahead and build on your own that hands-on experience is very much required third is practice exam microsoft's practice exams helps you understand the real-time test environment how it would be it would help you understand what are your weak areas and how you can improve upon them fourth is online courses and communities these online courses and communities can also help you deep dive into the concepts and understand and he getting help from people around you would also make sense when you're learning about these particular certifications. Fifth is instructor-led training. You can also go for instructor-led training by Microsoft certified partners such as CloudDart. CloudDart's training program have flexibility in terms of time and mode of training which is offered by industry experts who themselves are Microsoft certified trainers. I hope you have understood about Microsoft Power Platform certifications, why these are important. Whether you are starting fresh or specializing, these certifications can help boost your automation as well as your business apps career. 
The choice totally depends upon your skills and goals. With dedication and hard work, you will become a power platform pro. I hope you people enjoyed watching this video. You got to know about these power platform certifications. For more such amazing videos, for more such amazing content, make sure you do hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel of Cloud That for many, many more such videos. Make sure you do hit that like button as well. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Keep learning and keep innovating.